In recent weeks, black bear sightings in our area have been on the rise, prompting questions of whether the bears are here to stay or just passing through. WBKR reporter Derek Parham spoke with those who have seen the bears themselves and with Kentucky Fish and Wildlife to tell us more about these unexpected visitors. When Kerry Stinson first moved onto his new property last year, he knew that the nearby woods were an ideal spot for catching glimpses of nearby wildlife and installed trail cameras near his deer feeders to make sure he never missed an unexpected visitor. But still, this weekend's capture came as a surprise. They get, uh, they send me notifications every morning of what's on there and I was eating breakfast and I just looked down and so I had a notification, so I opened it, and uh, his feeder was laying on the ground, so I was like, why is my feeder over? Uh, went back through the pictures, and there was a bear, and then kind of made my day. <laughs> In recent weeks, black bears have been spotted all over South Central Kentucky, with videos and photos capturing them in Allen and Barron counties. But those at Kentucky Fish and Wildlife said this is fairly common for this time of year. Usually these are younger bears. They will live with mom for about the first year and a half of life. Um, and when breeding season kicks up, and usually about the end of May 1st of June is when they start getting the boot. So mom's kind of kicking them out of the nest, but then also the more dominant black bears are running into them and, you know, they know they're not going to win that fight and go looking for a mate in some fresh territory. It's unlikely that any of the bears sighted nearby are here to stay, but they are attracting some attention in their journeys north. While the young bears are just passing through, Hass believes encounters like these could become more common as populations continue to grow. So Tennessee's bear population and very much like middle Tennessee, like due south of your area is expanding a lot. So these may ne not necessarily be, um, say, Kentucky bears from around Somerset or something like that. They could be kind of those middle Tennessee bears coming north a little bit. So um, I would say your nearest uh, say breeding population where, where female bears are living is kind of down in the Cumberland County, like uh, Barksville, Dale Hollow Lake area, most likely. If a black bear is seen, they're best admired from a distance, and Hess says that any sightings can be reported to Kentucky Fish and Wildlife to help them track nearby populations. Reporting in Allen County, Derek Parham, WBKO News. Thank you, Derek. For more information on safely coexisting with black bears, visit the Department of Fish and Wildlife's new website, bearwise.org.